In my previous video, which was more on the pessimistic side of things, I was explaining how easily you can lose coin and lose your stuff. But this video is going to be much more optimistic because I'm going to explain why it makes sense to play duos and uh, ideally with a friend, so not with random people, okay? In this short video, I'm going to introduce you three different games, but basically the concept is the same. I was playing with Zikwil, my son. We are very close to Ace, by the way, a couple of more games, and I'm sure we're going to reach Ace finally in Season 2. So back to the video. In the first one, you're going to see how much it matters if you have a teammate who can pick up stuff and basically extract. Even if you need to sacrifice a bit, how much it matters if you can pick up your teammate stuff and then extract, bring it back, bring it home. Home. And in that game, I had a clutch, so I was actually happy that Zigwill died on the battleground because otherwise it couldn't have happened. With no further ado, let's watch that game and I'm gonna check back when game two starts. Don't hurt that. Gyerünk egyből balra, nézzük meg ezt a falat. One down, I think. I wasted like all of my ammunition. I'm not sure if it was worth it. No, I'm at your third time. But at least I had one kill. I was I was actually lucky that Zikwe had some spare ammunition. Secret says he's still upstairs. I think there are two of them still. I heard that I had shot that. And where's that guy we've been chasing? Spooky. Okay guys, I think it's time to leave the map, right? And guys, if you get into such a situation where your teammate dies and he has he has nice stuff, try, try to pick that up. It's more important. Having friends and guys to play with in the game is more important than one round of good no, loot. So please, please support your teammates. I'm getting hungry. Six, five, four, three, two, one, two, one. There you go. Perfect rate. <laughs> Loot value one in a thousand. In the second game, I gotta tell you that not much happens except finding a red item. And then after that, you're going to see again how I play and behave with Zikwal. I find 
other valuable items such as a key and then a cane and then something else and basically i give it to him because i have something nice already in my composite case and therefore you know we just share the love we just share the loot we just share everything we find to kind of boost each other and to support each other on the battleground it in that time ah nobody was here Oh, the match again. No, we were actually thinking if we should come to the villa, just checking the safe guys. If you're actually hesitating, if you want to check the villa, we we're actually <laughs> next shot. <laughs> Sorry, we were actually hesitating. Um, I think target eliminated. Oh. Basement because I want to play it safe. I don't want to. Don't want to die here. Secret says somebody might be here. But I, I think not because I hear the bots. What of one, Naki? Mm -hmm. Always check this room. You check it. So always check this room and also check the room which is under wow oh. wow oh. oh. okay let's give this is equal okay you got a golden lion i keep trying to watch the right hand side there you go there you go buddy and you check this business suitcase okay and that jacket on the wall and then i'm gonna show you what else to check <laughs> this jacket i guess you all know that but usually i'm not searching the whole motel it just doesn't make sense you can pick up these trashy items if you have lots of space okay so Chris asked that this room was open by default so it may be that somebody was already here in the motel just quickly checking or i don't know okay we're gonna stay here because you know, why should we risk this stuff? We're not gonna lose anything. Jeez, jeez, another perfect redito. Golden Lion statue, 548,560 coin in my bag, my boy. And thank you, sir. A quick side note here, guys. You need to be really cautious on who you play with and who you share the loot with. Don't do it with random people obviously if you are packed with coin and you simply don't need a gun or an item then give it to others they're gonna appreciate that but if you queue up with somebody then always check whether you can trust that person because there are many many people many players who kind of disregard you and just go for the stuff and they are playing in a very selfish way so keep that in mind but if you have friends then hopefully you're gonna stay friends even if you find the red item hopefully you're gonna get to an alignment if you do that's gonna help you to be successful in the game because if you play together two of you then that's where you have the best chances in the game you can for example check Sid, he was playing with monarch or you can check Ferk, he was playing with Sonho, or you can check Dap, he was playing with Vincenity, or you can throw a bunch of more. Zach also plays with somebody else. So they play duels because the amount of stuff you can find on the map is like designed for two players. For one player, it's too much and too risky. For two players, it's ideal. If you have a team of three or four, you are in a sweet spot you are more safe but you're gonna get less loot and most likely it's gonna be hard to find three friends who play at the same time and then you know everybody has the same skill level and such so that's complicated duel 
focus on duos, guys. So we arrived to the last game, which is Armory. And this is the map, which is for me kind of the loot graveyard. I play the map to like, you know, just spread my, my loadout to give it to others. It's like a charity type of thing for me, uh, because usually I die on Armory. Sometimes I'm just unlucky, but sometimes I feel like the map itself destroys me. So it's not a surprise that I died in this game as well, but fortunately Zeekville could keep him alive. And again, this is good proof of concept why duels are great. He could actually pick up my stuff. By stuff, I mean my gun, but I asked him to pick my gun only and leave everything else behind. Long story short, guys, I want you to think about this video and the previous one where I talked about playing solo and how you get killed and wiped by squads. Now combine these two together and start thinking about one person you could actually play with. If you have nobody to play with, then put me on the friend list. I'm happy to play with you. Zeke will as well. And believe me, this is key. You just need to find the right players. Players who are not stealing your loot, players who are watching your back, and players who are open to support you, even if they die. They can spectate you, they can give you information, they can kind of give you hints and such. And you should keep watching Sade, Ferg, and Monarch, and all those high-end players. But don't forget that in your case, you are the underdog. You don't have those skills. So if you play solo, then expect to be wiped off the battleground. This is a hardcore game. And even if you check iStream, he is usually suffering if he plays solo because he reached a level where it's very hard to beat enemy squads or duos or a team of three alone, especially on armory. And even if he's good with a gun, with MP5 and dum-dums, there's nothing you can do if you are being rushed. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you didn't subscribe, then please let me know in the comments section why you didn't, okay? I want to improve. I want to get to 10k or 50k even. Um, and your feedback is very much welcome. Anyways, have a nice day. Shady out. Bye. Aki meglőtt, bassz meg! Miért nem volt jó, hogy tapa? Rádióállomással kilőttek. I got shot for the radio station, but where is the team? Um, I, I died because I didn't have any painkillers. I know, I know I died because of that. Because Back to my screen and spectate him because you really need to charge. Oh my god! You really need to charge, otherwise, his iPad is gonna just shut down. Okay, there you go. We need we need to fix that. I'm gonna fix these technical issues in the future. But um, basically, I just wanted to show you the idea, guys. And the reason why it's so nice to play with Zikwell is that he is so pro he's he's so good in close range combats. Fantia is it has I'm not even one like them but I clearly mega I take a bot dog. There is Ooh there is too much too much bot I just said to him that Ooh, my film, my God. I don't know why, but whenever I have a broken limb, it's so annoying. I, I want to get it fixed before I move on. And Zikvil keeps just going and playing without, you know, healing himself. Was it a grenade? I think it's just a bot grenade. Okay, I'm gonna put it down here so I can see how much time is remaining. Da, da. Ah, da, 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 da. Teammate <laughs> just waited. Oh. 
This is what he's doing. This is this is what I have no clue how he's doing it. My full fire when you're safe, but Just money and purple, money and purple items, nothing special. Never mind, never mind. Again? Has we got better one. Good job. I mean, good job for Zikwal. Not for me because I died, but <laughs> uh, but I think but I think he did something really nice. Let's check the kill cam. I think I was just simply shot from radar station from the rock. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the reason I died is because I didn't have <laughs> I didn't have painkillers. <laughs> How did he hit me? No, no arm stamina. Crosshair was moving. Zikril is master one, four stars. So a couple of games, and he's gonna reach ace. <laughs> because we're gonna stop. Uh, but before we leave, subscribe, guys. Okay, especially if you see we see us. Uh, especially if you want to see us playing more together. Thanks for your attention. See you next time. Cheerio. Bye.